Good morning, everyone. We're in the season of getting prepared for Easter. Are you preparing for Easter? Jesus did. But what does preparing for Easter really look like? We call it the season of Lent, where we prepare for Easter. Let's take a look at our lives every day. We have baking that some of us really enjoy or just cooking supper and lunch, right? Um, for the girls or moms of girls, we have doing hair. We have games. We love to play games and toys. And oh, we can't forget about watching TV or our favorite movies. Um, more games. Um, what about listening to music? Because we love technology. Um, speaking of technology, what about computers? What about video games? All of that good stuff. And then we have sports. Tons and tons of sports. Um, some of us have soccer, baseball, basketball, wrestling, archery, band, uh, for those music lovers. And then we have hobbies. Making jewelry. Um, crafting. Taking pictures. Uh, some of us actually really like to read. Um, some of us <laughs> love to craft and paint things. And then we can't forget about those plant lovers, right? They just absolutely love to water and plant things. And then we've got music lovers. Um, and my favorite, sleep. This is a lot of stuff, isn't it? Like, how can any one person fit all this stuff in? Oh, and don't forget, with all this other stuff, to spend some time with God. Well, I can't exactly fit God in here. And that's what Lent is all about. Lent is about looking at what our everyday lives are and really taking out maybe what distracts us. Maybe what we spend a little too much time doing. How many times do you really need to watch Scooby-Doo, right? Ten times in one day might just be a little bit too much. Obviously, sports practices, that's a little tough. But how many times do we really need to practice doing our hair? Or how many cakes should we really bake on a Saturday afternoon? And instead of playing four games of ping pong, how about just two? Or maybe just one? And instead of sitting on that iPhone or phone or tablet, maybe we just literally toss it to the side. And we say, for these next 20 minutes, for this next hour, I'm just going to open up my Bible and I'm going to spend time with God. That's literally what this season is all about. Looking at our crazy, busy lives and saying, what can I minimize? What can I do without today so that I can make more room for Jesus? Because Easter is all about Jesus and him dying so that we didn't have to pay the ultimate price. And honestly, even though our lives are going to get busy and full, we can always set aside just a few minutes, just a few moments, and even if it is not reading, but even if it is just praying, to let God know that I'm here, I'm trying, and I'm going to make room for you. That's all that we really need to do during this time. So, next time you want to pick up a game, a book, a toy, a craft, think, when was the last time I spent some time with my Savior? When was the last time... I let the truth just really sink in. If it's been a while, set aside that hobby, set aside that game, and spend some time with the truth. Because at the end of the day, that truth is always there, and that hobby is gonna come and go because there's always gonna be something else that catches your interest. But Jesus is always here, no matter what. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so very much for this time leading up to Easter. Thank you for uh, 
giving us this time that we can prepare our hearts for Jesus and for what he did and Lord, for what you did for us as your children. Help us to remember, help us to see when we can spend more time with you. In Jesus' name, amen.